things I shouldn't know. Good morning, Stephanie Cameron, the Stock Whisperer, here with today's Daily Dark Pool Whisper for Monday, August 23rd. We had a new Dark Pool level on Friday. Uh, not the biggest, but decent. 5.5 million at 439.82. We are uh, still watching the biggie, the 445.86. Will we test that today? Yeah, so I'm gonna be bullish above 445, but notice I put that in right here because they like to play print pong, right? So that will be a target, and then we'll watch uh, for the swing today. Yeah, if we close above that, we are off to the races, putting our bull hats on. We're gonna be bearish below 444 for a retracement. I love that uh, peanut butter and jelly retracement, right? right here on a five minute chart yeah if we do go there all right let's head on over to the russell iwm etf we're going to be bullish above 218.06 i'm using that 16th level we had a little pivot there and bear below 215.80 and last but certainly definitely not least is the qqq with the big dark pool action uh coming in quite a few levels we're going to be bullish above 369 today and uh, we are going to be bearish below 368 for a retracement trade and let's check out those e-minis bullish above 445750 and bearish below 44.42.50. We are in between those guys. The NASDAQ futures. Bullish above 15.150 and bear below 15.100. We're also in between that. And oil. Yeah, where is oil going? Had a dream about oil last night. <laughs> Don't you just love those stock dreams? Yeah, woke me right up. Uh, bullish above 64.20 and bear below 63.75. Let's head on over to gold. Gold is lifting up this morning. Yeah, gold. We got stuck on R2, right? Look at that big volume that comes in. That just shows us how those computers are trading off these pivots. They're amazing. Let's see if we do another test here. Uh, we're going to be bullish above 1796. That's why I'm bullish above that. And bearish below 1788.50. Let's head on over to Bitcoin, which is blasting this morning. Yeah, above 50,000. Uh, we're going to be bullish above 51,000 on those futures and bear below 50,000 for a retracement trade. Let's head on over to individual stocks we're going to start with pfizer all right pfizer had lots of dark pool activity we're going to be bullish above 5120 we did have a really big dark pool level at 5115 so using that level bear below 50 for a retracement probably back down to that four ema and uh, some peanut butter and jelly on the five minute chart uber Uber, we're going to be bullish above 38.20. And we're going to be bearish below 37.50. All right, we did go up a little bit. And yeah, not quite able there. We had lots of prints on Uber last week. Yeah, 39.75. So we are below that. Any uh, bullish trade would be just a retracement to resistance. However, if we do go above those prints, then we would turn bullish. Let's go to NVIDIA. NVIDIA has been a beast. It's been on my dark pool insights uh, two weeks in a row. And today for the day trade, bullish above 212 and bear below 209. We have Apple bullish above 149.20 and bear below 147.50 for Apple. Sophie. Bullish above 14.50 and bear below 13.80. We had some really big prints last week at $14.15. So keep your eye on that. Mara, 
bullish above 38.50. The 38 is not a bad level either. We just did a first test. So yep, absolutely you can enter um, above that. Oops, I just made a little tiny mistake right here. I'm gonna switch that to $38.75. Okay, so yeah, bullish above 38.50, but 38 is another key level. That's where uh, eye training comes in. Watch and see if they are refreshing on the offer or not. Uh, bear below 36. 75 for Mara and Neo is last on our list. Bullish above 38 and bear below 37. There you have it. Those are your whispers for Monday, August 23rd. Until next time, happy trading, everybody. My secret